How's it going everyone? Welcome to the channel. Haven't done a street photography walk in a while and so I figured this week uh, since this would be probably one of if not the last video of the year for me to give you guys something a little different than what I've been doing lately. Uh, we're gonna just do walk around street photography with the X-Pro2 and the TT Artisans 50 mil which is about a 73 mil equivalent for APS-C. It's a manual focus only lens. It's a Leica M mount. I do have it adapted to the X-Pro. And we're gonna get rolling with uh, some warm up shots. It's, it's always fun when you're doing street to uh, get those first few jittery shots out of the way where you're nervous to approach people uh, to get close to them. Typically my first few shots whenever I go out and shoot street are a little, little more distanced than after I've warmed up for you know 15, 20, Sweet. heck sometimes 30 minutes. Uh, <laughs> got old man with his beer cans here. He was very nice. He actually owns. I like him. He actually owns that brewing company uh, right there to our left. It's uh, I believe Watauga Brewing or Johnson City Brewing here in Tennessee. Go check them out if you're into the crafts. Nice. Moving on. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you. I'm gonna go ahead and say this on the upfront. There, there was not a lot of activity uh, the day that I went out, and and I struggled quite a bit to, to find compositions that I liked, um, especially at the beginning. I, I don't really think that my best shots come until you know I had I had been out for at least 20 minutes, and and if you're wanting to timestamp this video, probably about the three minute mark is when I finally start getting into a groove um, and I stop shooting the back of heads so much and finally start getting individuals themselves and facial expressions. These two characters were really cool to, to play along uh, with me getting their portraits. I saw them standing outside smoking from across the street and decided to get a little closer. They were chill with it. I told them they didn't have to do anything differently, just continue to smoke naturally. <laughs> I guess as natural as you can. I think this man was uh, going in to get him a pre-Christmas tat. Tried to frame old cowboy up between the, the two cars there, the Focus and the Crosstrek. Still wasn't close enough. I was still trying to warm up and, and really get into a groove. And I think this composition right here is probably the turning point that I had uh, on this particular day. Just two people walking together. It looks like uh, they were having some good conversation, just helping each other out. And then have these two buds right here. They actually appear a little bit later in the day as well. Just having a good time, enjoying life, laughing, telling jokes to each other. They, they actually followed me around a little bit uh, while I was downtown Jonathan City. That was just a snapshot. Missed focus on this one, but I really love this shot. I struggled uh, holding the S5 in my left hand and trying to manual focus with my pinky, uh, trying to one hand hold the X-Pro2. I'm not trying to make excuses for this video, there, there will be some softer shots uh, just because I did not have the greatest POV rig uh, for this particular situation. Love this family shot. And even old biker man popped through. How's it going? Finally started to find some interesting light and some, some frames within frames. I love this one of him framed up in the window talking on the phone, just going about his day. And we got blue slides, man. Framed him up in the last portion of that building between the mailboxes. And of course we had to get a reflection shot because what is a street session without reflection shots? I love corners of buildings, just the, the symmetry and, and having them up against the sky. It's kind of a very minimalist approach, um, but I do love building corners. There's actually an Instagram page that I follow. I'll try to add a link below if, if I can find it, but all he does is corner buildings or building corners, and, and I love it. Good architecture. 
I came back to the mailboxes. Um, I kind of liked how they were just sitting there together, almost, almost like a husband and wife, a, a duo, if you will. This dumpster and the uh, follow-up door shot are actually from a venue that I used to play at whenever I was in a metal band. Um, a lot of people don't know that about me. I was in a death metal band for a couple of years, um, and that's that's called The Hideaway in Johnson City, Tennessee. We've played many shows there. And I actually camped out at this storefront for a while. This is Capone's, which is another venue in Johnson City. Really started getting some good light coming through here, some light slashes, so I kind of camped out here. There's our two buds again. I told you they would come back later on. Really love this comp. It's basically the same comp as the couple before, um, but just two buds traveling down the street together. This is probably my favorite shot of the whole day. I love the mom and her son getting caught in that slash of light on Capone's storefront, walking through there. Really, really enjoyed that composition. That was that was probably my favorite of the day. Not too disappointed with this one either. Um, I wish I could have got a little tighter. I know on a 73 mil I should be able to get in close, but hey, I'm not done street in a while and I'm still a little apprehensive. I, I think that's one thing with street photography, you've got to warm up to it. Really love this slash a lot on the building. Wish I was tighter. Um, if I could have gotten on the same side of the street maybe and, and had a little bit wider lens. Woman blocked her face. I would have loved to got some facial expressions there. And this is just a snapshot. So coming up on the end of my walk, I actually was out for quite a bit of time. Um, I'm trying to make this video as short as possible. I'm pretty sure that's Sam Elliott in disguise. Has to be Sam Elliott. He, that guy, totally looked like him. I'll try to keep this uh, video short as possible because I was out for right about an hour. Uh, so there was just a lot of walking around waiting for something to happen. It was a very dead day as far as the, the downtown Johnson City scene goes. So tried to create something out of uh, a little bit of a slower day and it kind of helped me out a little bit just with it not being so overcrowded to where i was overwhelmed but yeah it was it was a difficult day i'll be honest but i still had fun every time i go out i have fun i learned something i've not shot with this lens a lot in a street setting i primarily use it for portraits but i figured i would try my hand at, at the 50 mil and i do love that lens it's got a lot of character um, it's not very sharp wide open at, at one two but once you start stopping it down, it gets really, really nice and sharp. It still has a good texture to it and, and a great vintage look. It's not overly sharp by any means, but I do love the TT Artisans 50 millimeter. Probably my second favorite shot of the day. But yeah, let me know down below in the comments too if you would like to see a full review of the TT Artisans 50 millimeter. Um, I actually have the X mount version as well. I, I didn't have it until after the making of this video um, so I'll probably do a comparison between the M mount and the X mount and guys I just want to say thank you for being a part of this channel this year um, once again this is probably going to be my last video so super stoked to have this community and I hope you guys have a safe holiday season